about yourself and in your relationship with a god or religion. <coughs> it says in this newspaper article that you have uh, a certain amount of disorder in your life in relation to cigarettes, uh, alcohol and relationships. Uh, I just wonder why you have to embrace a religion, any religion, in order to get some sort of order back into your life. I, I didn't. Um, when I was, um, I worked hard and I played hard. And um, because I worked hard and I played hard, I, it had a knock-on effect and I had a disastrous private life. But that was while I was a Christian, you know, the twice a month practicing Christian. Um, I only sorted out most of those problems apart from the cigarettes when I embraced Islam and the reason and I didn't think that that would actually happen as quickly as it did and the reason it happened as quickly as it did is because if you follow Islam your life becomes so much more simpler all the excesses of Western living just falls away and you're left with a, a very wholesome, simple life and a, a code of um, ethics and not unlike the similar codes in Judaism and Christianity. And you, um, and it, it's just a, a better code for living. So I, you know, I swapped one religion for another, but I found um, the simplicity of Islam simplified my own life and um, you know my friends will tell me that I'm looking happier and healthier and more confident and more fulfilled and it's quite funny because my girlfriends still refuse to believe that it's Islam and these liberated hard drinking journalist women are saying we know why you've converted to Islam it's got to be for a man and I said no it's not <laughs> I've done it for me and it was um, one of the the best moves that um, that I made